To get started, I just imported a video I'd like to use as a background to my project, as well as a video that I'd like to overlay on top of it. Let's begin by dragging the video you'd like to use as a background onto the V1 track on the timeline. Then drag the video you'd like to overlay above it onto the V2 track. Now position the time marker over the top video so that you can see it. Okay, the easiest way to resize the overlaid video is to double click in the video preview so that you can see its handles. Simply drag the handles to resize the video. And to move the video in the frame, just drag anywhere inside the video. Okay, this works great most of the time, but for more precise control, select your video clip on the timeline and go up to Effect Controls. In here, you can change its position by dragging either of these values to the side. The first is for horizontal movement and the second is for vertical. Or you can click on the position values and type it in manually. You can also adjust the scale in here by dragging its value or clicking it to enter it manually. By default, the scale is set to uniform, but you can uncheck that and drag either the scale width or scale height to stretch your video. I'm going to undo that though because I don't want to lose quality. One last thing you might want to do is change its opacity if you want to make it transparent. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.